Copper wire theft is a growing problem all across Lane County. Central League officials say that it led to more than $1 million in damage last year. It also disrupted internet, phone, and 911 access. KEZI 9 News reporter Albert James spoke to one customer who was impacted by a recent theft and has a look at what the company is trying to do to limit it. I spoke with one person who lives on the outskirts of Eugene who is recently without landline service due to a copper wire theft. As someone who relies on her landline, she says the prolonged outage was frustrating. It's frustrating. We're, we're disrupted because somebody wants to, to steal copper and get $20. CenturyLink customer Julie relies on her landline phone as cell service is spotty where she lives. She says just before January's ice storm, someone stole copper wire from a service box and knocked out her phone. They said that it was, in, the lines had been cut in three different areas and that yes, it was theft and that um, it was very, very common in the area and it cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. She had no service for nearly six weeks with a temporary fix that only lasted a few days. When crews were finally able to make repairs, a technician said something that caught his attention. He said, this is temporary. Um, and I said, what does that mean? He goes, they're going to cut it again. And I said, it's a big problem in, in the area. Certainly it could happen again. You know, it's like I say, it's happening on a regular basis. We're doing everything that we can to, to stem the tide of this. Lumen Region Operations Manager Toby Rasmussen says they're working with government and law enforcement and using visible and invisible measures like security patrols. They're also asking for the public's help. If you see something that looks suspicious, please report it. Um, you know, we really do need the public's help to, to stop this. Rasmussen says it's crucial everyday people speak up if they see anything suspicious. Not only do these thefts do damage to crucial communications infrastructure, but he says the costly repairs take crews away from their everyday work. Reporting in Eugene, Albert James, KZI 9 News.